Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas Level 1 Naked Run of Dead Money. And we are here at the grand finale. So, we now have all of the things required. We must now make our way back to the lobby. You have the last Ooh! Item. Hello! You bloody hell. And you. Go to the main lobby terminal. Thread the music sequence together. Ooh! Frickity frickity frick. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I can't see. Oh, stop moving. Thank you. Oh, he's unconscious. He's unconscious. He's unconscious. Come on. Now he's dead. Stop it. Oh, it's been a while. It's been a very long time since I played New Vegas. Ooh. Right. Uh, quickly. Just heal ourselves up. Come to the reception terminal. Access music controls. The sweet ambient track. Grab all of it. And that is it. We now have all of them that we need and will now grant us access to the Sierra Madre vault. You're back. You sure you still want me here, callers and all? No much for waiting around with a bomb around my neck. I found the phrase for the elevator's audio lock. You did? Looks like even the old world can't keep you out when you've got a mind to get in. So, I just rasp out some words and the vault opens? That woman, the Scarlet, she didn't build this place. Why would the builder do that? This place, I'm not sure. It doesn't feel like a casino. Not entirely. I know. The sealed doors, the security. It's almost a fortress. You think that's why we're being ordered to come here and crack it open? I guess it's the object of someone's desire or affection. Love makes people do strange things. Don't argue that. It can drive you crazy sometimes if you can't. If they loved each other, and they were together, I suppose that's all that matters. But she's in that side room, dead, because the casino wouldn't let her leave. And who knows where he is? I have no idea. Let's unlock it. The phrase is contained in the lyrics to a song. Alright. If you go down there, are you prepared? What if you don't come back? I've got you to come down after me. It'll respond to your voice. I just wanted to make sure you're ready. When you go down there, let me be it for us. You won't be needed anymore. The one who made these callers, he'll follow you down there. And he won't let you leave. He's not one for sharing. Never was. Ooh, perception of seven. That's why you're waiting. You're going to kill him. Look, you've done so much, and he's not going to show himself until you go down there. Do you trust me? If you do, let go of this. I can't let go. Every time I've thought about it, I've lost him so many times. He needs to die. What happened here with us? He's... he's done so much worse. Let him come through the suites. Follow me. If he escapes, you'll still be here waiting. Promise me. Promise me you'll deal with him. If I see him, I... Christina, please, let go of this. Let me deal with him. All right. All right. I... But I'll need to leave this floor. He'll pick up my collar and... Don't tell me where you're going. I'll find you after this. I... Never mind. Let me get the vault open. I do not... Sounds like you. Thank you. Right. Ooh, today's physician. And also create small stim packs for me. Ooh, beer is safe. 
And we get another, the well, we get the same outfit twice. Vera's outfit. Oh, well. Barter of five, speech of five, charisma of one. I'm not going to say no. Hey, when did you... When did you get a fucking sawed-off shotgun? Where's mine? Oh, that's bull crap. Right. There may be a few moments where I die, but here we go. Yep. Uh, this bit can be a bit of a dick, but we'll... We'll persevere. Right, I am going to need, however, the police pistol. Because we no longer have to deal with... Ooh, save all the companions. All for one. That's correct. I'm a hero. Now, as you can see, the vault is there. Um, unfortunately, we can't go through here. Because we will... Well, we just can't. So we have to go around. It's the only way. You. Oh, I see. You have to do it the old-fashioned way. I've. It's. It's been a while since I've done this. But I'm sure I'll remember where most of the bloody things are. Right. So this is the safe spot. There's gonna be a lot of saving, because I. Hang on now. I'm gonna put it there. I have no intent of dying at all. Run, 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 run. Oh. Ooh. Cigarettes. Ooh, gun case. Yeah, I'll take all that. Okay. You're dead. So you're not going to annoy me. Anyone else? Don't think so. Oh, there is, 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 there is. Yep, yep, yep. Go, 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 go. Wait, what? Oh, shh. Ah, bollocks. I'm not gonna die. I'm not gonna die. I'm not gonna die. Let me just get up. No. Thank you. Right, so... Oh, there you are, you... Oh, I missed. Right, the speaker's now destroyed, which means I should be able to go back... ...over here. Because there was some pretty good ammo... ...stuff. Ooh, and a worker's note. Let's have a quick look. Worker's note. This job doesn't pay enough to work down here with all these walking light shows getting on my nerves. And the elevator. Does Sinclair know how dangerous it is to have an elevator lock like that? If someone accidentally trips the dead man switch inside his vault, even Sinclair himself. This whole place becomes a big metal coffin. Lou tried to tell him and Sinclair said it would be user error. So this is just basically implying more that this place was created to hold something than to do anything else. No. Right, where's the other... Ah, there it is. Yeah, you're gone. Which means I should be safe. I, I say I should be safe. Oh, shit, shit. Don't crouch, don't crouch, don't crouch. Don't crouch. Oh, fuck. All right, death number one. Go, 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 go. See, this is the part of the game I hate. I really, really hate it. Like, a lot. And 
there's not much I can do. So it's really a jump to sprint at this point. Here we go. Go, 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 go. God, I was... Fuck you. Yeah, there's a lot of save sponging at this point in the game. Uh, there's not much I can do about that. Oh, hello. Right, so... Yeah. I think I have a little bit of an issue here. Right, okay. I sort of need to have a look. Yeah, I see it. I see it. I see... I see it. Okay. Let's just have a quick peek about... Okay, right, now there's a bloody... need to get over there. If I can get to there, I can shut down the... Oh, hang on. Oh, hello. Oh. I want to have a little looky what's down here. Okay. Ooh. It's the password. It's the password. Up, 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 up. Go, 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 go. Hello. No, you don't need to come over here, do you? No, you no, you can go away. Oh, there it is. I see it. I can see it. I can just see it. Oh, come on. Oh, bugger. Come on. Just a little bit. If I can just... No, I'm not going to. I'm just wasting bullets at this point. Oh, he's buggered off. Good, he's buggered off. Hologram controls. Set behavior. Okay, that now means that he will... Oh, no. No, 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 no. Go, 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 go. Run, 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 run. Excuse me. Ah, oh, shit, a brick. Be a quick... Quick snab of you... Right. Oh, shit up. It's just not my day today. It's just not my day. Right. And go, 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 go. And down. And around. And grab. And then back. Which way is it? Which is this way? Go sprint. Okay. Oh, you little bugger. I've got to wait for him to move. Activate the terminal. Uh, check security hold on status. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Go on. Look away. Okay. Now, what did that do exactly? I don't know. It did something. Actually, I think it got rid of a few. I think it got rid of a few. Okay. This is good. I think it got rid of some of the security holograms by me shooting the box of power. Okay. Okay, right. So I saw the need to make a run for that little box down there. Go! Okay. Okay. Now. Uh oh, oh, oh. You don't see anything. Yes. Oh, shit, shit, shit. All right, fine. We... Ah, no, 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 no. Ooh, 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 ooh. Not this time. Not this time. Not this time. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Hologram controls. Shut down alarms. Turn off security force field. 
Jeez. No. No, you don't see anything. Glad I s bought some more stim packs. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. He's moved. He should have moved. He's moved and I can run. I can run, I can run, I can run, I can run. Go, 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 go. I'll take all of you. Vault security terminal. Vault security warning. Uh, maintenance staff warning. Oh, hang on. I want to disengage the security thing. Right. Disengage security protocols. Yes. Okay. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. The vault. This vault is a dick to get to. Right, so, there are a few ways you can actually end this way. You can die in the vault. Oh, hello. You can die in the vault. You can trap Father Elijah in the vault. You can kill him and then run. Or you can side with him. I'm going to, seeing as I've saved all my companions and not killed them, I'm going to show mercy on Father Elijah, in a way. I'm not going to kill him, but I'm not going to let him leave this place either. And I'm also going to take all the gold. So, yippity doo. Unlock the vault door. I'm going to take all... Oh my god. Take all the gold. Take all the gold. Take all the gold. Take all the gold. Just take every single bit. This is a heist, and I intend to do the heist. And I'm also going to take every single weapon and bit of armor. Yes, I know I might be a fool. But I made my way all the way down here. I'm going to do it. Alright, let's just repair some armor. Oh, okay. That. My repair must be high enough then. That's fine. Do the laser pistols. Do that. That's pretty good. Now. Now, now, now. So, he will realize that I have taken everything down here. And the only way I'm going to actually get him to come down here is by saying something. Now, to help me a little bit more, I can't do anything. But I might be able to reprogram. No, I don't want to reprogram them. Oh, so you can't actually blow it up. Well, that's a bit fucking bullshit. Fine. We're going to save, just because I say the wrong thing. But I should know or have enough sort of... Right, let's just have a quick look here. Before I even prepare myself to do it, do I have a... I do. I do have a stealth boy. Okay. Us my sneak like at the moment. Oh. Why is my... Oh, alcohol withdrawal. Oh, I see. Well, that's not good. But anyway, what do we have in the way of sneak? 34? That's not bad. We should be able to sneak past him. All right. Security enabled. Terminal locked. Error. Oh, I see. That's right. I have to go over here, don't I? Oh, hello. Vault security terminal. Disengage vault security protocols. Disengage the protocols. They have been done. I may now look on the terminal. And we're going to learn something very, very, very. So, Vera, Vera Keys. You can't do it, but if we go on to this one, to Vera. Vera, if you're reading this, my fears have come to pass, and this is an apology. I hope you realize what my last words meant to you. If so, they have led you here. And this place will keep you safe. I know what they meant for me. And I fear they have trapped me here. I have extracted the previous entry after our conversation tonight. If you can't have been... It can't have been easy for you. And I am sorry for, you, for all I have put you through in silence. I know while you do not love me, 
you did not mean any malice in what you did. I know what your plans were to rob the casino with Dean before you told me. Hearing it from you didn't make it any easier. For what it's worth, I'm glad you told me yourself, and I understand the tapes he had in his possession. I do not think either one of you realise what your addiction stemmed from. However, uh, hang on, where am I? Da, 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 da. However, and what that is the tragedy in this. I suspect the world would not have believed you regardless, so I respect your desire to keep it from others. When first building this villa, this casino, I meant it for you. As the world seemed to race headlong towards war, it became part of my desire to protect you. The loans, the funding I poured into the casino's construction, I knew it would not matter when war came for us. It was my means of creating a shelter, a defense, if the world was bombed in radiation and bombs. When Dean revealed his plans individually through our interactions, our introductions, I realized what had happened and how I had been tricked for a time. My thoughts were dark. I changed the casino vault from a shelter into a trap, as I knew the first one to enter would be Dean. He would die down here, and it would have been by his own hand. I fear, however, I, I fear, however, that I overstepped myself, and the only safe place in the casino is the vault. I have tried to rewire the systems, change the protocols, and I cannot. I will do one last check on the pipes by the edge of the out, uh, by the edge. Oh fuck! I've lost my train of thought again. I will do one last check on the pipes by the edge of the outside platform and see if anything can be done. I fear it is useless. If you came down here, do not access my personal account entry. It will contain only a message for Dean and it will seal the door and you will have no way out. Even the elevator is designed to automatically return when the door is closed and it will lock in place. There should be enough in the vault to sustain you until help arrives. I have ensured that there is enough medical supplies down there to keep you comfortable. The hologram should defend the casino from any attackers and the hologram beacon in the villa will broadcast an emergency signal so that others know you are here. When danger is past, rescue will come. I hope you were able to read this and know that I loved you. Frederick Sinclair Sinclair's personal accounts. No. I'm glad I didn't open it. You. You're in the vault, finally. After all this time. The Sierra Madre, that is. Mine. Don't move. Don't go into the vault. And don't touch anything else. There may be more traps down there. Another security. Still hiding behind the images and screens, I see. Hiding? Hardly. Trapped. You think you were the first one to unlock the casino door? No, I did. With other hands, other bodies. After that, the casino wouldn't let go. Once I was locked in, no way out. Until your pip boy said you came to life in the other one. Then, then, uh, things changed. You've got a lot to answer for, you know that. Do I? For what? Your greed? Curiosity? You came here on your own. No one held a gun to your head. I've seen your pip boy archives, your map markers and notes. You picked up the Sierra Madre signal just as I did. You couldn't resist. So if you feel I have a lot to answer for, no. The blame isn't on my shoulders. Might as well have put the collar on yourself. Now, hang on. I didn't choose to do this. Well, I did. Take, I chose to do this for views. And because I'm bored and stuff. But still, this is your doing for putting me through hell. So how did you access the pit boy anyway? You speak as if your fingers have never touched the keys of a Robco terminal. No machine is full 
foolproof. They are designed to obey us. The pip boiler operating system has vulnerabilities, advantages to those who've studied its construction, even superficially. It's just a machine, though. Its real vulnerability is who wears it. And that's how you were caught. I feel like this is one of those metaphors where you get caught with your hat, with your trousers down. Um... So, what do you mean, exactly? That thing on your wrist. It's a convenience. It tells you where to go, what to do. It dulls your brain. It may have helped you find the Sierra Madre broadcast, but it's just as much a crutch today as it was in the old world. Are you kidding me? I'd fucking love to have a pit boy now. That'd be great. You know, keeping track of my skills, my stats, what my quests are. Jesus, I would love it. Before this goes any further, I do have a question. Curious? You must be. We have time now that you've done your work. And our interactions have been too one-sided, even for my tastes. So, basically, my question is... You're nothing more than a killer that aspects to mass murder. What happened to my gear? It lies in the bunker. Or whatever man trap caught you. It's the Sierra Madre. Its security system strip guests to their garments. It has prejudices against outside material. Contraband. Almost anything with a radiation signature. The new Vegas casinos do the same thing. Manually. Now, yeah, fair enough. So, the casino stripped me of all my gear. The villa did, as an extension of the casino, yes. They then sent it back to the oldest residence. Here, begin again, is more than a slogan. Now, yeah, fair enough. Now that I'm here, are you coming down or what? Ha <laughs> ha Unless you come down here, I'll destroy the vault and everything within it. No, I don't think so. It'd most likely trigger other security measures, if you hurt the vault at all. The builder of the casino built it to last. The Sierra Madre withstood the war. I'm sure the vault is protected as well. Besides, you wouldn't have followed the sequel if you didn't want this place's secrets for your own. You're curious. Yes, but you don't understand. I've read why this was created. And with science, all it takes is destroying a single terminal or holotape. You might destroy access to the data, not the data itself. Besides, there would be safeguards in place. Maybe too many safeguards, as you've discovered already. There's a noticeable lag of several seconds before the collar can go off. And a warning. Huh. Up yours. Right, okay, so, basically, we need to say very, very quickly, because I need to get round the corner. I have another pit boy, uh, stealth boy as well. I can use it. 
when needs be. This may take a few attempts. Go, 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 go. Oh. No, no, I have to wait a little bit longer. Okay, we wait. We wait. We wait. And then we go. Ah, oh, you little bastard. Just let me escape with my life. Please. I just want to escape. <laughs> I want this nightmare to be over with. Right, wait. 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 Wait until he accesses the terminal. Okay, go, 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 go. Oh. Fuck. Right, so as soon as he gets in there. You oh, fucking fuck. Right. Fuck me. Oh, you got to be. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Oh, I'm so close. Go, 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 go. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, I do. Well, actually, I can escape, because you're there, and all I have to do is just get to the vault. Exit. So, the elevator, basically. Oh, Father Elijah, I think you just got buggered over by me. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We did it. Oh, my dear Lord above. Right. Dead money collar has been removed. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We no longer have to deal with any bullshittery at all. So I'm gonna save this quickly because we're gonna this this is the final episode, as I've said. But there'll be a bonus episode later just to explore a few other things. That's why I'm dropping my save now. Where the fuck is the exit? Is it over here? I think it's over here. We do have all the gold. Which is, which is, which is nice. If we go over to miscellaneous, where's the gold? Where's my gold? Where's all my gold gone? Where's ah, thirty-seven. We have a total of ooh, ooh, that's what thirty-eight thousand nine hundred and no. I don't know. We, we got a lot. We got a lot anyway. Let's end this fucking DLC right now. Oh my god. So fucking slow. Travel back to the Sierra Madre. No, the Sierra Madre. The fucking Madre. This path leads from the Sierra Madre back to the wasteland. Are you certain you want to leave? You won't be able to come back. I'm fucking certain I want to leave. Goodbye. Heard stories of the Sierra Madre Casino. We all have. You've heard stories of the Sierra Madre Casino. We all have. This story's different than the others. It's all in promise of beginnings. And we end. Dog forgot himself, as did the voice that raged within him. After their passing, a new voice spoke within the mutant shell. It was difficult for the voice to remember the two it once was. There was the beast, Daw, consumed by hunger. And the other, in reverse, the one consumed by control. Both were driven by need for the other. The courier brought them together somehow, joined the two into one. All that happened at the Sierra Madre was a faint memory to the new personality. 
like a flickering light in the clouds of the mine. The new voice did not think of the courier again until the battle of the divide reached his ears. The battle between the two couriers beneath the torn skies and the old world flag, each bearing a message for the other. And the mutant prayed the courier that had saved him had been saved in return. Dean Domino, entertainer, singer, thief, explored the Sierra Madre not long after he was rescued by the courier. Once he left the theater, the Sierra Madre recognized him as a guest, and many doors opened to him. He had to admit it had been built to last. During his search, he came across the final records of Vera and Sinclair, and realized what happened the night the bombs fell. He felt strangely sad for a moment, and he had no idea why. Shrugging it off, his mind turned instead to where the courier had come from. Vegas still survived, out there in the Mojave. Its sights, sounds, and casinos, ripe for the taking. So, giving the Sierra Madre one last nod and a wink, he set off beyond the cloud to begin again. The sea, her mission complete, found new purpose for the Sierra Madre's warders. She watched over it silently, their choice. Over time, the ghost people came to see her as one of the holograms. They would watch, silently, as she walked among them. At times, Christine thought of the courier, who had kept Elijah's hand in her throat. The courier reminded her of the other courier she had met in the Big Empty and wondered if the two had found each other at last. She did not think of them again until she heard the legend of the Divide. The Divide, where the two messengers, the two couriers, fought beneath an ancient flag at the edge of the world. You heard of the Sierra Madre Casino. We all have. The legend is complete. Some foolishness about it lying in the middle of a city of dead. A city of ghosts. Beneath a blood-red cloud. A bright, shining monument, reaching out, luring treasure hunters to their doom. An illusion. A promise that you can change your fate. To begin again. Finding it, though. That's not the hard part. It's letting go. 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 Damn, that was that was the best ending you could get. Now, if I go into the settings and go audio, turn that radio up. And that is the end of Fallout New Vegas' DLC, Dead Money. 
So, there's a lot of stuff to do after the end of the DLC, but I will be covering that in the bonus episode, which will be coming out sometime soon. At the moment, I've got a different project working on. It is another Fallout project, I, and I think you're going to enjoy it. But, I do hope that you have enjoyed Fallout New Vegas, level one naked run of dead money. It's been a pleasure to do this series for you and for me. And I'd like to thank you all for being with me from the very beginning to the very end. So I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.